guys uh, I wanted to show you Dave you had asked me about the um, doing the hub how involved that was so I thought I'd show you a little quick little video of what's involved in it I'll turn the camera around um, this here is uh, the hub I cut this with a uh, hole saw and then smoothed the edges and I broke it down into segments it's divided into six different segments so 360 degrees divided by six that's what 60 degrees each so I use that as a basis um, over here I'll show you this here was one of my original hubs that I did and I was using plexiglass which I don't really like working with but um, I had used the plexiglass and um, you know you have to make six of these things for every one and uh, Plexi's not cheap. Um, I thought it would be cool because it was clear. You could see through it. It wouldn't take away from it. But uh, I finally kind of settled down uh, to using uh, what I had on hand, which was this here is actually a slat. This is a slat that it goes uh, in a blind. There were extra slats. They're wooden. They're flat. They're all primed and everything. So I had used those as a basis for doing you know, future um, uh, 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 propellers. And uh, you can see here, to make it fit, you know, I trimmed it down. And they work fine. The only problem is, because of their thickness, um, I think that that affects the amount of uh, power behind it. What I did was, over here, I had the, um, this is my whirly gig for the uh, organ grinder. But um, um, it still didn't have a, as much power as I wanted it uh, for the breeze. So what I did as an experiment, I kind of, uh, I glued on, uh, taped on uh, the actually old CD uh, blanks. And, uh, but just that little bit here, adding on to the width of the blade, made it that much more powerful as far as it so I realized that I needed to come up with a way of making the blades and um, fortunately over the winter what I did was um, you know to get something thin enough usually you would you know I, I, I'd go with the uh, plywood or something like that but I don't really like plywood especially in the thinner stuff so what I worked out doing is um, for I, with my bandsaw, I used it as a resawing thing, and I took a 2x4, and uh, this is just for demonstration, but a 2x4, and I cut them down using um, my, I'm doing this one-handed, but you can see I got six blades out of a short length of 2x4, and um, this is a jig that I made up for the fence. Everything's nice and parallel, so I got some nice quarter-inch thick wood that I could use as the base for the blades so um, that's what I've got over here I've got uh, the blanks that I made because uh, I'm going to be making more than one propeller so this is wider and then I'll trim it down um, you know to make it into a blade shape but for the actual hub what I did was I made up a jig and um, working from the actual hub which is um, saw, sawn out with a hole saw uh, I divided up into six segments and then I index that to a I believe this is like 52 degrees or something like that um, as far as the angle of this and I built this this is my um, cross cut sled uh, so I could set this up here and what I did was this will turn so as I, you can see here the marking, as I, uh, I'll make a cut and then I can turn it again. So there's the, there's the vertical line. I slide this over and this is a little stop here that prevents it from sliding over anymore. And then I run it through the saw, which is very easy. And that'll give me the, uh, the thickness that I needed uh, to use for the blade so 
there's a um, there's a hub that I'm cutting down and I'm going to use these new um, wooden blades um, I also plane these a little bit uh, I was able to run them through the planer with a, a backer type thing so they'd be a little bit smoother um, so I'm looking forward to finishing up and um, that's all I've got to really say right now. I want to share that with you. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.